Good afternoon everybody, Joshua here from WTF Silencers. Just wanted to go over kind of what happened last week at the Silencer Summit in Cheyenne, Wyoming, hosted by Thunder Beast Arms Corporation. Uh, first off, huge shout out to Thunder Beast for putting on this summit for all the manufacturers to come and test out their silencers and have them metered and basically just allow everybody to test in the same environment same host weapons same ammunition and put all the results together and let the consumers kind of just check it out so if you guys want to see it what you got to do is just go to thunderbeastarms.com then this is the page that we pull up you'll see over here on the right hand side silencer summit results and this is what it'll pull up and it goes through exactly everything you could possibly need to know about how the test was conducted equipment used uh, maybe even how to understand some of the language in there and pictures of what the setup looks like so one of the changes they made was this fixture which is absolutely incredible to see in person such a professional group of guys in the way they handled this so this is how it was set up right there oh, everything is pretty awesome so then it explains the different weights for the decibels also gives uh ground reflection wall reflections kind of why to do it indoors versus outdoors then every shot comes with one of these little wavelengths as well as some of that. So it's pretty cool. You could click on every round that was fired from every host setup, which this year looks like there was about 365 different combinations that were shot. Then, so what I like to look for and what I manufacture for is the Shooter's Ear Impulse DB. So the felt reaction by the shooter's ear. So for me, shooter's ear is the number one concern for me personally as a shooter. And especially if I'm out in the mountains or pretty much anywhere just shooting. So you could go through and you could see all the different ways that they tested. So muzzle left muzzle right shooters here then you could when you get to one of the longer ones you could click on how you want to have it sorted but i go by there so you can see on 223 on a 16 inch ar-15 shooting 556 five, there's 51 of them in there so let's see where we end up i put a 224 caliber in here and there we go there's the Jackalope 224, which was a prototype. Then also had them test out the 280 Jackalope, which handled phenomenally well for the shooter's ear at 138.26 DBA, then 127.28 for impulse. So if you go over here to the shooter's ear DBA, there's two of them here that. Uh, posted up a better number than that one then on the impulse looks like there was three that put up a better number and a fourth one there that is the same number as mine so pretty cool you could just go through and see everything that was shot what the, the host firearm was what the suppressor was then Again, you could sort it however you want. So one of the things, I'll just use mine on C65 Grendel. Click the graphs over here, and it'll pull up this page in each individual shot. So there's five of them. Different wavelengths for shooter's ear. Muzzle left, muzzle right. It's pretty awesome data. Super cool for consumers to be able to come check out all this data as well as one of the I think the greatest things about this summit and everybody coming to one place is 
kind of to see what all the other manufacturers are doing <clears throat> and kind of keep the standards the exact same and obviously to see if we need to do some more work on you know some of the prototypes before we decide to put a, a can out to market this is a great opportunity for uh manufacturers to go to cheyenne have them tested metered completely unbiased uh everybody there was really cool so it was a really awesome event i was very grateful to be able to go there but you could see all the different setups here so for 30 caliber on a 308 there's 76 entries in there that's just a lot of numbers then 30 cal shooting 556 this was a fun one too again i go for shooters here if you you know do the mill dba average i'm not at the top there I'm down here could be better could be worse but for shooters here impulse uh the jackalope 30 cal did really good shooting 556 which is everybody knows that it's owned a suppressor and shot 556 it's a hell of a round to try to suppress but pretty awesome results and Thunder Beast again, just such an awesome company for them to do this and have everybody there and their willingness to take the time to fully explain how the test was done, what every number means, understanding the wavelengths. Those guys had no problem answering 150 questions for me as well as everybody else that was there. So I was able to do biggest one I wanted to test out was the Baron 50 cal non-BMG suppressor that we make so I got to try it out on the Beowulf so shooters here impulse 122 then on a 308 it did 119 the 500 Smith & Wesson lever action from Bighorn Armory put up 112.29 impulse at the shooters here we also, I think we did a 375 round. Yep, yeah, there it is. So, did 124.89. Not bad for a huge hole for the suppressor. So that's bored out a whole heck of a lot bigger than 375 or the 308 that was shot through it. And you can see we shot some 9mm cans as well. Let's see where the pistol is. There we go. So, out of the pistols, nine millimeter cans. There's 26 of them on this particular, just designated nine millimeter cans. And then shooter's ear impulse. Let's see, we're up there. And so you could sort it by DBA. You can see we kind of drop down. Let's see where we go. We're right here. Then we go LEQ. Kind of see where everybody else does. But super cool data. Then kind of answer some of the questions at the end here that are frequently asked. How to find out more information about the academic literature about the fidelity of the testing. So. Again, just kind of explaining the different wavelengths and what it all means. But really cool thing here is, just, again, it's 100% free information provided by Thunder Beast Arms out of Cheyenne. Uh, I think they're going to be doing this every year, so it'll be exciting for all of us to go up there every year as a manufacturer. And test out and make sure that we're selling awesome great products to everybody out there in the market because the market is exploding right now and there's an extremely high demand for silencers and i tell you what every manufacturer i talk to their number one goal is to provide the best possible suppressor that they can for their customers which is a really cool thing to hear never once heard anybody talk about oh we make this much money or whatever the case is it's 100 percent was about the customer and their ability to provide accurate complete data in an unbiased format so that's what thunder beast was able to do for all of us as manufacturers